Falconers get up there. Okay, this is a moving picture. What's the name of this pub? All right. Yeah, go ahead, Gwen. Very good, thanks, Mark. You paused for him. That's the original. That's the original. The original control of that is the Lancaster Bomb. Yeah. No, you look better with clothes on. Yeah, right? I know you're right. Uh, sparrow up legs and arms. <laughs> <laughs> 
Association of Falconry uh, here at Woodall Spa for us earlier in the week and um, for having the opportunity to share these uh, these uh, great experiences with you because uh, we look uh, even from the United States to the British Falconers Club for great leadership and great experiences great camaraderie but as we are here tonight to celebrate the landowners we in the United States don't even begin to understand the attack on the landowners of rural Great Britain. And so we want you to know that the falconers of the United States, Canada and Mexico, represented by the North American Falconers Association, stand with the landowners of Great Britain for the traditional values that provide us with the opportunity to participate with you all of the great things that we have seen this week. And so to you, we salute you. I don't think that there is any aspect that we could have wished for this event to have gone any different. It, it has been absolutely amazing. Even the weather has smiled on us. We've all had wonderful days in the field. And I think the atmosphere in the hotel here has been, well, beyond belief. Um, thank you all very much. It, it's without the generosity and kindness and welcome that the landowners have given us. None of this would have been possible. I'm sorry that Brian Simpson can't be here because he's the contact between us all um, and he's just a wonderful man and we're deeply indebted to him. First of all for the loyal toast, the Queen. flight since we are absolutely indebted to all these wonderful people to the landowners who've supported us thoroughly this week yeah, yeah. thank you um, this week, Brian Simpson and the team have dealt with 83 primary landowners, which is an amazing number of people, uh, apart from all their managers, foremen, gamekeepers and so on, and all of the neighbours who have also contributed, so we're dealing with a huge number of landowners. Um, each day, there have been um, 21 groups each day that Brian has dealt with. Uh, and on average, that's six falconers per group, plus all of the um, observers and so on. That means during the four-day period, we've sent out at least 504 falconers into the field. Amazing. Well done to everybody. Now, here comes to the... Um, 
pleasant part of the proceedings, I'm sure. First of all, a lady who has helped the club for Woodall Spa events since 1969, Sheila McPhail. Okay. She is um, a face that is so familiar to us, we can't imagine Woodall without her. <laughs> Um, and we'd like to make a small presentation to Sheila. <laughs> so Sheila McPhail, with a bouquet. But also, since Ridley was a gospelker primarily, um, we thought she might like a copy of Andy Ellis's uh, Goshawk and Rabbit print. And on the back we have inscribed it, presented to Sheila McPhail by the President, Council and members of the BFC in grateful appreciation of all your hard work over so many Woodhall spas and in memory of Ridley who started it all. Thank you. Hang on, Sheila. doing it for sort of 18 years and um, the spear uh, head of all this has really been sort of, um, I, I pointed Jenny in the right direction but uh, she sort of got it all and, and I've, <laughs> I've just enjoyed being out so there and enjoying myself but thank you very much indeed, it <laughs> won't last two minutes I know with you lost around. <laughs> I'll find out. Okay. And, and in fact, if you look through the shades there, they're pink. But this is yellow. Sorry, this is yellow. Uh, 41. Fucking all. Um, um, and he um, has, a, in actual fact, got his, yep, 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 his contraceptive in the middle of that. <laughs> donated, by the um, donated by the southern region, because they couldn't find anything worse to give us, but it's... <laughs> Get paralytic for the last time. We're all off tomorrow morning. Those who aren't off tonight. Once again, thank you very much indeed. I've had a great time and I hope you have. Good evening.